Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank, 35 locations throughout Louisiana and into the panhandle of Florida. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. While the Pelicans hit the All-Star break with a three-game losing streak, all home losses. Of course, they play without three, count them, three star players against Indiana. Poor effort, poor result. And now Anthony Davis has announced he's going to skip All-Star game festivities. Disappointing on both ends, Lenny, but certainly you have to admire Davis for making that move and looking out for the greater good. Yeah, no doubt. That's the best thing to do is to take the time, like we mentioned on Monday. If you don't play any All-Star game, you didn't play these two games, He's basically got two weeks now to try to get ready. The Pelicans don't play again until a week from Friday. They make a Florida swing to Orlando and Miami, and you've got a chance to perhaps be healthy for that. Might have Drew Holiday back then as well. So this could be a team that's getting healthy just in time for the stretch run. Unfortunately, these couple of losses, they've dipped back into the 10 spot, but they're still only a game and a half out of eighth. Right, Oklahoma City playing well, Phoenix not playing so well. It's going to be down to those three, unquestionably 29 games left to play. With regard to college baseball, it's a big weekend. Everybody getting their season started. We're at First NBC Bank Ballpark, where the UNO Privateers, of course, hold court, and they will open at South Alabama against a traditional rival, no longer a conference rival, but a rivalry uh, that was second and none back in the day with Ron Maestri and Eddie Stanky. Yeah, it's funny. You know, we're t uh, talking to Mace a little bit, and you could see your interview with, with Mace on the site as well, but going back to Stanky Field, that, that's going to have kind of a kind of a funny feel to it with the you know the intensity of the, that UNO South Alabama rivalry when Stanky was at South Alabama, Mace's first stay here at UNO. That should be a, a, a lot of fun kind of revisiting that. Uh, they'll get back in action here next weekend. Tulane will get back in action at home next weekend after they open at Pepperdine. LSU opening at home, number two in the nation against Kansas. Interesting, Paul Maneri's going to run two freshman starters out there in his weekend rotation. That will be very interesting to see how that plays out. You know, when, you, when you're running new guys out there, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, he's expressed a lot of confidence in these young pitchers behind Poche, so we'll see how they pan out. And Tulane, that will be a grow-up trip, I think, would be the best way to term it for Coach Pierce to find out just – who he's got, what he's got, what his team's going to be like, because that's a tough task going out to Pepperdine. It is. That's a team that was this close to get to Omaha last year. They very nearly knocked TCU out of the Super Regional in their own ballpark, and instead it was TCU that came back in the in the bottom of the ninth inning of the last game to, to make the trip to the College World Series. But it was very nearly Pepperdine going there. That will be a good test for them. And finally they get back here next weekend to take on San Francisco. College basketball, can LSU bounce back from that difficult loss to Kentucky? They're going to have to if they want to make the NCAA tournament. Uh, Tulane uh, continuing to compete and struggle. UNO got a win earlier this week. So, again, when you look at the college basketball weekend, I guess you focus on LSU. You do. they got to go to Tennessee, and that won't be easy. Tennessee's one of the better teams in the SEC. But really, look, anything beyond Kentucky – it's been very hit or miss, so you never know what you're going to get. Tulane with a tough test at Cincinnati. He was coming off a bad loss at Temple when they allowed Temple to shoot 50% from the field. The Tulane women have the toughest test of all. They've got to go to UConn on Saturday, fresh off UConn, beating South Carolina in that one versus two matchup on Monday night. Uh, the first of two in 10 days for Lisa Stockton's team against Gino Oriama. That won't be any fun. Tulane can play their best game of the year and still may lose by 25. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, to be certain. Where the Saints are concerned, Paris Harrelson, it appears, is coming back on another one-year deal, an outside linebacker, and of course, the coaching changes we've talked about for weeks now made official by the Saints earlier this week as well. Yeah, and, and a couple of other additions in there. They, they added the defensive coordinator from UL Lafayette, and uh, you know what was interesting to me in looking at that, and you and I have talked about this, is really... Sean Payton doesn't go much to, to other staffs. He goes with guys who have been on his staff before. He brought back a couple of those in Morton and, and Allen. But otherwise, he's going to the college ranks to get assistance, which is, you know, in, in, in injecting some young blood into that staff and some fresh ideas. And, you know, I, I like that, and I find it interesting that, that he's got his way of doing things and really doesn't necessarily go to other staffs, but or rather the people that have worked for him before are going to college level. Well, it should be a great weekend for sports, of course. Follow everything at sportsnola.com. We know you will enjoy what you see. Lenny, as always, thanks for the visit. Ready for some baseball, and have a great weekend. Yeah, play ball. Yeah, play ball, indeed. That's our First NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout South Louisiana and now in Florida as well. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of First NBC Bank Ballpark here at UNO and of sportsnola.com. For Lenny, 
I'm Kenny. Have a great weekend, and God bless you.